What's up guys, welcome to part 11. I know part 10 was kind of slow, not much really happened, and I've been fighting that fender. Well, in part, what is it, 11? Let's just say, I think I won. So, as you guys saw, I was just struggling with the body lines. There's way too many lines happening you had the fender, you had the vents, you had the body lines. So we ended up just chopping it off. Right now I know it looks ugly, north, but we're kinda going for like the spoon style, like the, what's that called, the S2000s have it. So that's the current rendition right now. So let's just see how this turns out. So I'm pretty much gonna set up a time lapse. Um, Right now, I'm just working the foam a little bit more just because it does start to come in, but not not enough. It does start to come in, but not enough, and it, it just, it's a little wobbly. So I'm just gonna work the foam just a little bit more until I put the filler on. time lapse short the sun was just causing too much of a glare so you guys couldn't see really see anything but let me just show you guys what I got done uh, if you could see it but yeah right now I'm building this edge the transition from the flare to like the spoon style fender cutout here's the all oh, the wheels turned so a second let me just turn the wheel back so here's kind of like a side profile Obviously, I'm gonna still fix the vent afterwards, but this is looking way much, way better than the original, the original um, double vent. Uh, from here, it's a nice shape. Just that needs to get done so it looks as one. Because right now it's like you have the bottom section and the top section are two completely different pieces, you know. But once they get blended in, you won't even tell. But yeah, that's the progress. And every time I did some work on that. How you doing? Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th. <laughs> Enjoy. But yeah, every time I did some work on the fender, I ended up filling in the hood. The hood's gonna be, again, we're gonna make a mold of the, sh of the skin of the hood. So the idea is, when we're done, we could pop the skin off this hood, put the, our skin on top, and you know, it'll be solid. So yeah. This is first person shooter. We're gonna cut some, we're gonna, normally I would just peel this 
and just make like basic cuts. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like, you know, put it up against this. And then cut it to the shape. Wait, wait, don't put it against that. Oh, sorry. But what I was saying was instead of just doing like random rips and cuts, I was just gonna like, you know, get, try and get the, you know, cut a shape out hey. of it. Like a... Okay, Mr. I had to get my Mr. Stuff. Dunkin' Donuts. What do you got there? My coffee. And what's it? Hold on, let me guess. Cruller. No. Oh man. It's definitely too small to be coffee roll. Life can be full of surprise. Um. Boston cream. I feel like that's one of your favorites. Okay. Unfrosted? What the hell? What am I missing? Is that coconut? I've never ever seen you get a coconut. So what we're gonna be doing is the fender's ready to be molded. It's wrapped in aluminum foil. <laughs> I know it sounds stupid, but our theory is the aluminum foil is like a, a release film, right? Then we put wax on the aluminum foil so that the, uh, the foil shouldn't stick to the mold. And then once we laminate it, pop it off, the aluminum foil should help it just like pop right off. I know we used to do this with foam, so I'm trying it out with this. Instead of spending six hours sanding the, you know, the body filler to be like completely smooth and flush. So it's just an experiment. I know we're gonna still have to do a little sanding on the part afterwards, but we already gotta sand it to paint, so just a little bit is not gonna kill it, kill us, you know? So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna set up the tripod, do a time lapse of us glassing it and all that stuff when we're ready. As you saw in the time lapse, did you just drink my coffee? No. Oh. We were struggling, we were panicking, might have had a heart attack or two, but uh, we got it laminated. Stay tuned for the next video to see if the part comes out good or not. Calvin, Stay tuned, that's all, folks. Any, any words? Stay tuned, that's all, folks. Calvin's panicking too. We were, for the last like hour, we had like level 10 anxiety to get this part done. We had some mistakes. As you can see, there's a couple cups of resin that are full, but uh, you know, you live and you learn. All right, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully. It's certain someone would say, it's not how we, it's not the best way, but we do it. Yeah, what he said. All right, peace out.